So I got this high boy scooter from my brother-in-law at Christmas. The battery died. So just for clarity, it's a high boy model S2 Pro. Uh, looks like it wants an 11.6 11 amp, 11 amp hour battery. This is going to go 19 miles an hour. So I'm going to rig up one of these are Obi. Got this off of Amazon. Fuse in it. Got the one here. What appears, this was the original battery connection right here. Which positive, negative. Let's go ahead. So what I did, you can buy these off of Amazon for like a five pack for next to nothing. Um, so we'll splice this up, get this going, so I can plug directly in. All right, so the way these connectors work, it's kind of plug. There we go. All right, so here we go. So we'll cut it here, boom, and solder into this guy. Yeah, but it All right, should be good enough for a test. So I've got power. <clears throat> I'm sure I've got no battery. Let's just give it a whirl. I think I'm gonna have to hook two of these. Robbie's in line. This thing takes 36 volts. So I'm running an 18 volt single. So I can always splice it on the upper end here and run two of these things together, but I gotta get another uh, better connector. Let's just give it a whirl. So it goes, it just doesn't have enough power. So yeah, I need more volts. Okay, so I went ahead and ordered another one of these guys off of uh, Amazon, so I got two of them. I just want to see what I'm getting out of this thing. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm doing a good 20 out of that one. And should be getting about, yeah, 20 out of that one. So I need to get 36. Now, I'm going to be short on my amp hours because I've only got four amp hour batteries, so it gives me eight amp hours. I really need two uh, six amp hour batteries, but I think I can get to think this. I can get the positive to our negative, getting them in series. Let's see what we got now. Look at that. 39. 38, 39. All right, I can live with that. So I'm going to all or kind of um, connect all this together and we'll get this set up and let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Look at this. I got a full battery. Off of both of these drill pipe batteries. So I'm gonna get it down, sit it on here, and just kind of play with it in the garage and then try to, I got some ideas on how I'm gonna rig these batteries up so they don't fall off. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is just my rigged up contraption for now. I show a full charge. Let's try it out. I can barely hold the battery. Oh yeah, she goes. Basically. All right, so here's the final incarnation. I've got it 
this is a quick disconnect right here so I can pull the parts I need to. So I didn't film any of this, but I'm back. I got some C-channel with a bracket welded in and I drilled a hole into the frame and tapped it and ran a quarter 28 bolt in. And then, so I epoxied these battery mounts in, but they wouldn't hold, so I wound up using hose clamps. But this does the trick. So I put an aluminum plate on here and screwed it in. I've got electrical tape on it right now because I epoxied it, I'm just letting it hold still, but um, yeah, that's it. It does very well with these drill pack batteries. So running them in series, I'm getting 36 um, volts. I've got two 4 amp hour batteries. So I'm getting eight amp hours. Once I get some bigger batteries on here, I should get a longer range. It's still giving me a decent range and I'm getting 19 miles an hour out of it, which is what my brother-in-law told me he was getting um consistently out of his it's got a broke scooter battery's dead they're throwing it away and fish it out of the trash what i've got in this i've got you know four basically three dollar hose clamps and these Ryobi battery um holders are nine dollars off of amazon so 